Right, in this tutorial we're just going to get Apache 2 up and running in our VirtualBox so we can start working with that uh, from our Windows host. We've already done the networking, we've done the shared folder, so let's get on with it. Now, um, before we begin, there's a couple of things I want to bring your attention to. Um, if we go into the computer here, you'll see this is the, the basic structure of uh, our box. So under Home here, you see Node.js which is us, and then we can see our documents and all that kind of stuff. But the real meat and bones of this stuff is happening in these guys. So these are these are our binaries here. Um, if I go into etc, you will see that this is where uh, a lot of our most of our programs live, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, fire up a terminal and uh, go get Apache. So Control Alt T and sudo apt get sol ion so we're looking for apache2 and we'll just put that in and in it will go so let's take a few moments to load up okay that's done now, if we now go back and have a look at this, we can see we have Apache 2 in here. So let's see what this is doing. So if you double click into that, um, this is where uh, our configuration. So these are Apache modules, which are available, enabled, uh, sites available, sites enabled, and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look at one of these sites available. So we have a default configuration file here and also an SSL configuration. So if I just open that with G edit. Um, this is where we our virtual host lives basically. So this is the default configuration. So anything that comes in on port 80 is going to be responded to by this stuff here. And uh, you can change those to suit. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, sites enabled. We should have our default. And what this is is a sim link back to the sites available. So Apache will come and have a look in sites available and have a look in here basically follow this link back into this one and do what it says. Uh, configuration available is enabled, so let's have a look at our configurations. Um, so security and all that kind of stuff is there. That's good. Configuration is available in there. Uh, mods and mods enabled. So let's have a look at mods available. And this is where you would um, enable things like PHP support and uh, and MySQL and all the rest. So there should be modules in here for that, uh, which you will turn on. Now we're, we're only going to set up uh, Apache on this one, so we're not going to be too uh, worried about that at the moment. Let's see what else we need to do. So let's have a look now and see where it's going to serve from. So sorry, I need to get out of that. Go to computer. Now under var here, we now have a folder called www. Uh, HTML and index.html. So this is what's going to be served um, by Apache when it's up and running. So let's have a quick look in here. Uh, let's have a look in G with gedit on this. So there we go. Uh, like a, yeah, a few fonts and things like that. Uh, CSS and hopefully it'll come back and say that it's all working. So if I double click on this it should fire this up. Now this is not running from the server, this is just going to fire up uh, Firefox. And you can see there that's reading a file. So Apache 2 Ubuntu default page. So that's really what we were just looking at there in gedit. Uh, but of course we want this to be available on localhost. Uh, localhost and let's see where that goes. And it's coming back there as well. So that is actually working. Um, which I have to say I didn't actually expect. Um, so I think it's probably a good time to again have a look at our configuration here. Uh, I have config. And uh, let's see if we can make this work uh, from our Windows host. So I'm going to fire up Chrome uh, from our Windows host here. So let's move that over to the side there. Uh, rather lousy screen effects going on. So uh, we're looking for 192.168.1 oh, 
And let's see what this returns. So it's doing something. And there we go. So believe it or not, this is actually working. Uh, as simple as that. Pseudo apt got. Um, all right. Um, so yeah, so the command there, so I'm just going to go back in here, quick look at that command, get install Apache 2, and it just works. Okay, um, that all seems to be working. So another thing we can do here, if we need to, is we can stop and start the Apache services. So sudo uh, service with a C, uh, Apache 2, APA 2, and we can stop that service by hitting stop. So it's stopping the web server and that's it. So now if I refresh this, uh, we should get nothing. So web page not available. So I'll go back in here, I can go start. And uh, much to my surprise, that immediately came back um, with it working again. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to get it up and running.